Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we're here with Kelvin, B rank, but incredible in terms of what she can do. We're going to be discussing her build guide today, starting off with her skill priority. Which of her skills should you prioritize in leveling up? So my answer to that would be the her ultimate frigid zone. This is actually what makes her really, really good. The movement speed by 30% for enemies. And the other one, if you need more defense actually from the 30%, this is a movement speed of a reduction of an additional 22% inside the diamond. Okay, so these two are one and two. Frigid zone for priority one. Frozen Freshness is going to be Priority 2. Priority 3 would be Frost. This one. Her other passive, which is going to be covers an allied sinner with lowest percentage of HP with Frost gaining 29.9 damage reduction. So this is her third priority in terms of leveling up. And the last one, of course, is going to be her attack. Um, you're getting her not for her attack. Her attack is actually a plus already, but um, she deals decent attack, by the way. Um, average or above average. So again, last would be your ice crystal. So the sequence would be frigid zone, frozen freshness, frost, and ice crystal. Then we're moving on to her crime brand. This is, for now, for the easiest ones that we can get, I'm recommending this one, Syndicate Glory 1. So this one gives her magic damage plus 15 and damage received plus 25. It may, might seem a big damage at 25, but it's worth it because she can slow down enemies. And the 25%, although it's 25%, plus 25%, on paper, it's not good. No, and on the actual game, not on paper. On the actual game, it's going to hurt, but not that much. Okay, so magic damage plus 15%. It gives her additional damage aside from the debuff or the movement speed reduction that she gives. It also gives her attack, HP, and magic damage increase buffs. Okay, so this is the crime brand that i'm recommending okay guys so for her deployment role she will act as your as your debuffer she she should usually be in the middle so that she can decrease movement speed it's going to be a triangle so this is your triangle so anybody going inside that triangle is going to have extra uh, movement slowed and it's best that she covers a large area so that she can definitely slow or, for example, attack to her right here and to her left up there. So, again, it's best to put her in the middle so that you could keep all of your sinners clustered in the middle for additional movement reduction. So, again, she's good for defense um, at first, slowing down enemies. And also for additional damage and additional firepower or probably um, just a smidge more of damage when you have terrific damage dealers already on your team. Okay, so next up would be your shackle. So technically, I would just recommend up to what level of shackle you would, you know, if you're hard, if you have a hard time getting copies. But as for her... As for Kelvin, she doesn't have a problem getting copies. She's B rank. Uh, definitely, you'll be unlocking her up to five shackles with no problem. Um, unlocking all of her shackles will mean like a um, reduction from ultimate energy consumption. This is good at four. So again, these are necessary, especially that she's B. You should be able to open up all her shackles. And again, there's an additional speed reduction effect increased in the frigid zone by 10. So that's a big part. Four and five is really big. So you, you it's no it's not a problem that you're going to be reaching four and five. 
It's just a matter of when. Okay? And the last one would be... Let's go back to her crime brand. And let's see her... Phase 3 crime brand or unique or exclusive crime brand. So the speed reduction effect for enemies in the frigid zone can now stack. When the effect has stacked 4 times, it freezes the enemy for 1 second. So additional slow additional freeze and additional duration for your enemies to be delayed if you're going to ask me if it's worth it that she's going to be in phase three i think yes definitely yes she has a lot of uses especially moving forward when your enemies are getting harder to kill when there are more cores to be broken again she is wonderful she's a wonderful support i think for the for the movement, for the slowed movement, I think she has the biggest at 30%. If I if I can recall, you know, correctly. Definitely a must for even for rank B to take to phase three. So that is it, guys. That is my recommended build for her. Hopefully, you can also share your comments in the comment section and let's discuss. Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.